Hi, today this is Bill Barnett again from Thai Road Trip Series with C9 Hotel Works and Delivering Asia Communications. We're going wild, we're getting wild. Actually, we're rewilding today at the Phuket Elephant Sanctuary. And with Vincent Gerard, who's the general manager of the sanctuary. Vincent, welcome to Thai Road Trip. Thank you very much. And welcome to Phuket Elephant Sanctuary. Okay, so Phuket Elephant Sanctuary was the first actually ethical sanctuary here in Phuket? Yes, we opened in late 2016. Before that, there was no ethical elephant sanctuary on the island. Okay, so what's the difference with an ethical sanctuary versus just an elephant where you're going to be riding and everything else? There's no hands, right? Exactly. It's it's 90% hands off. We do offer a short interaction where you can feed uh, some of the elephants that live here. But the whole idea of being ethical in my view is that you create an environment where the elephants can live as naturally as possible. That means foraging for their own food, uh, natural exercise, socializing with other animals, and just living a carefree life, you know, without any abuse, without any commands, and um, a place where they can just live happily. So, no, how, actually, how many elephants do you have now? We have 12 elephants that live here. So, uh, well, actually, what's the capacity for, for, you know, how many elephants could you have eventually? How many rye is the project? The project is just over 70 rye. Okay. It's suitable for approximately 20 to 25 elephants. So we still have uh, a space to welcome more. So this is a venue where elephants come to retire or where you rescue elephants? The, the elephants living here, they are rescued from riding camps, from shows and from the logging industry. So every elephant that we rescue, we have to uh, buy them from their previous owners. Okay, great. Gotta ask you, how long does an elephant usually live? <laughs> uh, it's fairly similar to humans. They can live up to 70 years, sometimes longer than that, depending on how they're looked after. So it's a long-term project, whatever to say the least. I know this is also a private enterprise in terms of your accommodation and everything else. You, you, you've got some plans to expand accommodation here at the sanctuary? Yeah, so we're looking at different ways how we can support the animals and generate income to, to feed the elephants and to provide veterinary care. So other than our daily tours, we are also looking at building a very small number of bamboo lodges. So people can come here and stay overnight. And uh, if they want to get involved in looking after the elephants, uh, maybe do some volunteer activities or simply enjoy the time and wake up to elephants roaming around in front of your bamboo lodge. So if you've got a family and your, your recommendation is don't go to a zoo, but go to an ethical animal sanctuary, correct? People have to understand that any unnatural behavior requires some sort of training. Uh, obviously, elephants in the wild, they don't perform tricks, they don't carry people, they don't pull trees. So all these kind of uh, activities require training. And the best way to observe elephants is in a natural setting like we try to create here. Exactly. So it's came back to nature. Vincent, thank you so much. And this was, a, you know, actually coming here on the East Coast, people forget about how much natural splendor there is here in Phuket, you know, in Paklok area, going up and actually looking at the mountains here and how much greenery is. So, you know, we encourage anybody coming to Phuket, you know, do something ethical, do something right, and, you know, support these guys with what they're doing. It's a really fantastic educational process and something everybody needs. Going forward for tourism, you know, ethical tourism is certainly the way to go and go get wild again. Thank you this for this for another episode of Thailand Road Trip. I'm Bill Barnett from C9 Hotel Works together with Delivering Asia Communications and we'll see you next episode.